truck here hopefully everybody is well it's a-ok -okay. and you find us here on friday the 27th of november 2020 <laughs> oh yeah so just to explain what we've done today and where we are we're just at uh, going into tiverton as we speak heading to a farm near no man's land sort of uh, Kind of south of Tiverton, in a way, when you pull about nine miles away or so, give or take, where we are, according to the nav. Give or take. And uh, we, on the time maps, depend how I do the intro, because I'm doing a new intro on this one. If it's driving at night, it's towards Camelford viewed area to the customer and if it's in the daylight it's on route to just before now you know in terms of of transit from after being loaded got a load of way on so uh, we're going to go back to customer after this we're also going to get reload then we're going to head to Exeter and then we'll see what happens from there I have no clue what we're doing after that point Anybody's guess is good as mine. Uh, obviously it's still frost out and about, as you can see. Just hopefully this is okay angle, it seems to be okay. Not the best of angles, but it could be far worse. I tried the rear cab for the night, or while I started this morning on the time lapse, and uh, hopefully it looks okay. I'm, I'm a bit dubious, just because it being dark. I should have probably put it in the window, to be honest, and then put the camera in the back for the time lapse in the day. That might have been the smart way of doing it, but uh, oh well, experimentation reasons, as I say. <laughs> we'll see, we'll find out. You, you, you would have seen it, what I've done already. Just I want to change out my intro a wee bit and just do something a bit different and you know just putting together some ideas that I've seen other YouTubers do and also just some stuff that I thought about you know doing as well and just mixing it up just to create something a bit you know, in as interesting as I can. Okay, I need to wait for that silver car to move. There we go. Good. Yeah, so it's all good. Bit of fog today. Otherwise, it's a pretty nice day for going into winter. You know, bit of frost. It's about minus one this morning in areas. It's interesting to get the thermostat. You just kept going up, down, up, down, up, down, going up to about three Celsius and packed down to the minuses. <laughs> Showing how much the temperature's ranging in some ways. Still cold no matter what, you know, three. Celsius. Oh, I know I'm a bit mad. You know, I like wearing t-shirts and such like. So come on, baby, we can do this. I know you have car drivers stick the noses out at you. You know, it's no easy to lose traction. <laughs> come on, you can do it if you be and cue it. Yeah. So uh, after the daylight time lapse I stopped off at the uh, Cumbridge Extras is on the M5 just before we get to the uh, Tiverton sort of turn off off the M5 to go on the ah 
not Bewed Road, or it does eventually go to Bew, but uh, Barnstable Road. So I know it from holidays and going down that way. Yeah, I stopped off at the extra just to have a Mucky D's breakfast. Grab a coffee, as I say. Yeah, so today is a pretty simple day down sort of uh, down here in Devon. Do I uh, get a few Devon, Cornwall? You know, hopping between several counties. So. But nevertheless, a very awesomely nice place. You know, I love it down here. Even though what the job we're doing, it's just between two customers. Easy. That's all I say. It's you, some people might find that boring, but actually, because it's in such a nice part of the world, it doesn't bother me at all. I, I'll do this all week long. I'll be just happy from today till Monday. So, uh, <laughs> if it meant meant to be but I don't think we're doing this all week so uh, we've got a sneaky feeling we're going to do these two ones today and we're going to go and do something else but we'll see, we'll, we'll go find out see what the score is so yeah so uh, th thank you very much everybody and uh, look at my channel systems it's pretty impressive I didn't really do anything for what, what was it six months it seems like an awful long time nevertheless and I still gained what 30 subscribers or so over roughly 30 and I would like to say a massive thank you to everyone as I'm over 100 subs now which is amazing oh sorry <laughs> keep looking as if if you're there all the time you're there but seriously thank you very much to everybody you know it's very much appreciated and if you haven't subscribed please smash that subscribe button it helps the channel out and so I'm trying to mix things up, change things up a wee bit. Uh, the, the next mission goal for my videos is to shorten it down. Which is going to be a tasking because I do like now go on about stuff very easily. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. So what we'll do, I'll probably leave you running for another few more minutes. So we're not too far away from the customer now. You know, I don't want to film onto the customer side or precisely to the customer side there, just, just for security purposes and the fact, as discussed before, loads of times, not on how to film customer side. So I'm a bit reluctant on filming all the time, me leaving or going, arriving. You know, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I'm, I'm a bit, you know, I don't do it all the time. I don't tend to highlight it with farms, though. Just for security reasons, mainly. Not that what we're doing is sensitive, it's more for the farmer's sake, as I say. To be careful along here, because, you know, the road is going to be slippy, even though you don't see any frost about anymore. It's just with this water, thin layer of water. And also with the DAF not being brilliant with traction in the first place. You just have to be careful with that. And also, so sort of, as you guys see in a moment, it's a very tristy road down here. We've got two ways when it comes to this customer. I can go, which is actually a pop about four or five minutes quicker, dependent, through the country way in, as I call it, which is basically coming up from the A30 getting through the country it is a nice way but I like to mix it up I thought today we're going to go in this way and we're going to go out the country way so we'll probably do a time lapse potentially when I come out of here through the countryside and then uh, get to the customer we'll get loaded and I'll probably do something on the A30 potentially or something like that maybe we'll see what happens tip off, maybe another time lapse or saying we'll see what happens, or maybe an outro, and you know, we'll go from there, we'll, 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 go, we'll go with the flow, we'll see what happens. I'll take you through the first few bits of tristies and uh, I'll pass you off to time lapse, and say I'm trying not to go on too much, if you know what I mean, to have too long a sequences, if I can help it. 
But yeah, again, I would say a massive thank you to everybody, you know, in terms of who support the channel. I keep forgetting your name. It'll come to me in a bit, but I know I've got a few few supporters who, uh, you know, give me motivation, some motivational comments in the odd, odd video, you know. And what? And more than a bit comment in my last video, I saw your name's gone out right top of my head. But I want to say a massive thank you to you. You know, thank you very much for your support. You know, I'm sorry for the lack of content of late. And you know, that's really all I can say. Really, it is what it is. Life is life. Steady down here. So now he was down. A bit of engine break into here. Because people won't yield to the truck at the end of the day, not very often. So you've just got to be, uh, be the more warier of them at the end of the day. And you meet other trucks down here, obviously, as well. Because there's a lot of farms around here. As you would expect. So I got stuck behind a hay truck yesterday going down there. Which was alright, no dramas. Just stay back and take it chill. So okay, uh, once we're around at this next sharp end, because this is the uber uber sharp end, which uh, you have to go in obviously with an element of caution. Because I have met trucks while I was coming the other way going around this. Which uh, can take some sorting out if you do. But it gets worked out at the end of the day. But also got weather road users who fly around it. You don't expect to meet a truck. Okay, so I'll catch you in a wee bit. A bit later. In the next run. Or not in the next run. A bit later, after the next time lapse, I'll see you. So I'll see you in a little bit. basically loaded at Camelford Way and we're heading over to Exeter now. I said they were a little bit delayed by about half hour because the pump cut out twice. Not on the on the truck, the pump because they're pumping it on. So I had to get that sorted. You know and blah, blah. it is what it is and also my wayloader decided to give up the ghost. 
It's been a bit temperamental over the last few weeks anyway. I think it's more ingress into the unit itself, which may have it could be it could be something else altogether. But it is what it is, I can work around it, but just not as accurate. It was a good guess though, I was pretty much bang on what I needed to be. Well, I've got about 100 kilo light and 44, let's say. So uh, pretty much max gross at the moment. I wouldn't want to put any fuel in. <laughs> Which we don't need, we've got three quarters full tank. We can get to the custom over texture pretty easily. Just had a bit of an interesting situation going for the village as well, which I thought it's probably better not being able to do. I want to put anybody in trouble there. Just, uh, well, not necessarily it was anybody's fault there, but it's one of those things that can happen. It's, uh, I don't like to show if it, it's kind of a yeah, whatever sort of thing. Sometimes it gets shown, but something like that. Nah. Nothing bad happened, it was just a case of that. You just sort of lost my chain of thought as well after that. So I thought, better we take. <laughs> we take, we do. So I need to remember when I edit not to put the first one up. <laughs> Joys of logging. Yeah, so we should. It's coming around what time we're we on now, uh, quarter past three, so we're going to be at the customer for that, slightly before half past four. So we should be out there about five. Yeah, so we might be out there, give and take, plus either way. Uh, today's gone well, you know, nothing too major, as I say, it's normal stuff generally. It'd be a nice day of ice, slightly clouded up this afternoon. It's on loading. As you may have seen on the time lapse in. Okay, so we got to the customer to load, probably what was it, about one o'clock or something like that. Wasn't too bad, so we were there for altogether about an hour and a half plus. About uh, how long were we down the road from now? Yeah, try three minutes down the road or so. Not that it might mean anything. So I still have no clue what we're doing after Exeter, if we're going back, if I was actually asked by the gate guard, am I coming back as I actually said, honestly I have no idea. <laughs> I said, I hope I'm coming back, but it could be anything I'm up to. So because <laughs> all I was briefed was up to today, <laughs> so we we'll have to see what happens. We we'll have to see what's on my uh, PDA wants to clear the job off can't do till I delivered it, so unless if I get a phone call, I suppose I could always phone the office up, but you know, enjoy the mystery, it's not too critical for me to know, either way I'll be doing something after, it'd be nice to know, but I'm not, I'm not anticipating it's going to be something too tight, because they normally phone me up if it's a urgent, can you make it there jobby? We'll do the best we can, nevertheless. Yeah, so today's been, I saw some of the little stuff at, at the customer there, which wasn't, as I said, a drama at all. It's been a really good day out on the road today, in terms of, you know, trucking. I had a couple of moments with muppets here and there, but nothing too bad. I said, I think, well, what flew up in the village was the fact that there's a hill. I was coming down, bear mind fully loaded, it's harder for me to stop, it's technically my one to way as well, you know, but it is what it is. I didn't mind stopping because um, it was fair enough for the two trucks, which I was like, okay, fair enough. I'll yield to them. 
but then everybody else, a massive queue, just decided to move up. And I was basically sat on my brakes, waiting to progress down. And you know, you would think if you've got a truck allowing you to go up the hill, you know, somebody in a queue should just think twice and go, actually, let's let the truck go, you know. Nope. <laughs> There she was, places where you could be sat for quite a long while if uh, it's busy. I mean, it was fairly busy then, but luckily I found an opportunity to mm, politely force my way down without causing too any dramas. You know, all legal, by the way. You know, nothing funny. But, uh, you know, you run into situations, you know, occasionally. It's a bit like with really power junctions. You get to some junctions, you're sat there forever, waiting to pull out. Uh, and you have to do it that sometimes. It's, yeah, if, you, if it's not safe to pull, you can't pull out. You know. And I've been sat at a junction for what 15, 20 minutes before. Plus, it's all ready for other trucks to go for it as well. So it's about half an hour plus. So uh, just to sum up, to, sometimes what can happen it doesn't happen that often actually, but. Uh, Probably also a bit of own knowledge. I try to avoid those at certain times of the day. The ones that I know of, anyway. So it tends to be rush hours where, as I say, there's a lot of people on the move because obviously not here at the moment, but I think there's a lot of home traffic, school traffic running around. That's probably a factor as well in that, as well as a lot of people zoned in, need to get to school. Don't care about how, you know, <laughs> other people, as I say, even if you got somebody else being courteous. But it is another thing I have noticed that, you know, courtesy on the road seems to be a thing that is becoming a rarity. There's only certain groups where you see it mainly, where you, mainly done. I'm not saying every group doesn't do it. Yeah, there's always good examples in every group, like anything, but it just seems to be becoming a bit of a rarity, even amongst professionals, you know. It's, it's just becoming, you know, you know who, who gets there first, almost. <laughs> but I suppose it is what it is, but comment down below if you're a fellow driver think the same, you know, do you think the same or do you think people still as courteous as they were, you know? I mean, we all have a moment that we're in a rush, and, you know, it just seems like you're having a day that everybody's giving way to you and you know, being kind to you, occasionally that does happen, you know. But more of lately, it seems to be, myself seems to be yielding to everybody, you know. <laughs> Very little in return. Not to say people should give way to me at all, by the way, I must add. You know, it's, I'm more than happy to be polite and courteous, but it's something I noticed when it's been the other way around, that not many people have been courteous either, you know. But I suppose it is what it is. You know, I don't have the answer to it. You know, just observation, let's say. Got a tractor. Let's get it out because that Porsche will be probably right on us as when we need to be pulled out. That's the key when you're approaching a slow vehicle like this on a dual carriageway is sometimes to get out a little bit earlier if you've got a bit of a traffic build-up and the first safe opportunity to do so you know, because uh, I'm not meaning to be massively excessive but uh, obviously just be a bit wary because it will happen that by the time you know you may be trying to be Going back to being quite courteous, try and be quite courteous, but just get out when you can as well, you know, because otherwise, not many road users probably not be yielding but allow you out, you know, which is fair enough, it is what it is. The well, within, uh, you know, 
but you can get you find yourself in the situation where you're boxed in. If you're fully inflated, it's a nightmare because you know when you do get out to lane two, two you're now crawling past. You know, potentially crawling past what you're trying to, you know, the slower vehicle in effect. It happens now and again, you know, but sometimes it still happens when you plan ahead and, you know, if there's no safe opportunity to pull out, you put your indicator on. Sometimes people are like, nope, not letting the truck out. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> get ahead, get ahead, even though it will only delay them a few seconds. That's it. And they'll probably regain that before they know it. You know. <laughs> In comparison. But hey -o, it is what it is. So, yeah, so I'll move to, to a biomass plant near Exeter. So we'll get this way offloaded and we'll see where we're going. Uh, do we do a time lapse now or do we do a time lapse after? Obviously, I might do a time lapse now and I'll do an outro after it takes with obviously hopefully an update where I'm heading to roughly. You know, all the usual stuff, as I say. But yet again, thank you very much for watching so far. This is not the outro, by the way. But, uh, I'm sorry there's no massive news today. You know, the biggest news was said potentially I might be getting a new truck. So, but it's still a fair few months out. Still, so not that I'm counting. <laughs> wink, wink. Probably am counting. But uh, also this week I need to film. Uh, I'm trying to go, try, if I get on the opportunity though, this I can't guarantee it this week, but I'm going to try to, is to do a, I know it's a little bit over the year of being in the DAF, but a year in the DAF kind of review of it. You know, or in terms of my opinions, issues I found with it, pros, cons, you know, what do I think of the truck a year on, in effect. So I'll catch you after we have tipped. We'll do a time lapse probably before we're tipped. And when you see me next, we should be tipped. And hopefully making our way or have made our way to where we're going after. We'll see. It's gonna be a bit of a mystery, I think. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you shortly. We've uh, just um, tipped off at uh, Exeter. I'm just going through the business estate at the moment, so we're not filming when, where the customer is at all. But, uh, this is public or private public key sort of area. Give it a take. It's still well off the customer's bit, so all good. So. Yeah, we've tipped off, and now we're going to be heading up to our, well, well in some ways it was our usual customer, up at uh, south of Bristol, sort of near sort of Blagden sort of area. Uh, they're going to load in the morning, so we're going to get to Taunton Dean services tonight, I reckon, as well. I've got the sat nav point to me at the moment. Could maybe go up to Bridgewater just within my time, maybe, but it, it's a bit of a push. And plus, uh, there is a lay I can get in if it if it's not fully occupied there. 
think there is a truck stop around there somewhere as well, but if I'm going to pay, I'll go to Toronto. This, I know I should have food on, and I can always go to the footbridge to have a decent meal if they're open. Because it gives me something to do. Especially if I'm hanging 11 off as well. I don't see the point of uh, destroying a 15 hour just to get up. Because I've burned some of it as well, which uh, I don't see the point if it's not cool for. As in other words, I'm not going to benefit for from the 15, it's not going to aid work overly. Uh, is he flashing us? Or was that just Tim Bunting? I have no idea. So just hold off, it's hard to tell when people are doing that. I couldn't tell if that van it looked like the van was flashing us then. Like to go, but it could be bumps in the road that's all a bit hesitant lucky up. It paid off. As he may have flashed us, so I meant no disrespect there but to the van driver. Come on, come on, don't be scared. Come on, there we go. Yeah, you've got to be careful with this one because I have known people who fly up on this junction and I say at night it's not pleasant because it's hard to tell distance and people speed accurately or you know be able to judge it anyway shall I say so if you know me better safe than sorry you know wait the extra few minutes jobs are good last thing I want to do is cut anybody up deliberately. Not so you won't cut, well you do end up cutting people up in this, because sometimes when you've really moved out and you're committed. <laughs> you know, but that's not deliberate, that just can happen, it does happen. Try to minimise it obviously, think ahead, plan, look what's coming, etc, etc, but you've got to be reasonable about what you do to make progress, as they would say. It's all about making progress, safely but surely. Yeah, so, as I said earlier, I think today's been a pretty good day. Not particularly exciting vlogging material, but it's a bit different to my usual stuff. Even though this is kind of a regular customer we do. It's actually what I said, one of my favourite jobs. Doing this, it's just nice and simple, I enjoy the countryside. You know, I mean, I enjoy a lot of the work we do, you know, but it's, I think every, every driver has a job they prefer or part of the country like going, I like going, that's how, I'm not too particular though, I'd love to get a run out to Scotland or something like that, I'd love it, you know, but I know in my line of work that would be a rarity, I'm not saying ruling it out, but uh, you know, it is what it is. But you never know, I've been doing a lot more different stuff lately as well, so uh, don't wall it out as I say, you never know. And I said the de delivery went well as well as expected, helped the farm out with a couple of things that he needed doing as well. So he tops up from the product as well so since I was on the point it was easier for me to load him up from the tank direct than ha him having to wait for me to uh, you know it's like this I uh, might have got down to look and saying who knows seem to be okay it was up and about walking him out just his bike was laying on the on the bank there so he might have got up to look at where he's dropped something maybe or who knows? No idea. Yeah, so. All's good, as I say. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think is there any news aside. So, I'm obviously, as I mentioned about, I'm going to try, if I can, get opportunity this week. I'll have to see, so don't hold me to it. Or it'll be next sh shift, or whenever I can, I'll do a uh, on the year report on the DAF. You know, thoughts, feelings about the DAF. And we'll see where we go from there. But 
but it's definitely one of the videos that are definitely on the cards, which I'm actually looking forward to doing. I want to obviously do it as almost a bit like a uh, truck tour video that I take you around the truck instead of me right now, one on one, just batting off everything. So, that be the easiest option to do it, but I want to try and make it somewhat entertaining. No, but it is what it is, but I think my wise videos are only interest certain people anyway. You know, either fellow drivers or hobbyists. Who knows? I'm sure people might want to know what my feelings are with the deaf and pose the cons, you know things that have gone wrong, things that as well you know all that stuff okay decision making we need to be on the outer lane ideally uh, not the moment not the moment I think that's the turn right for that one uh, to make sure so we need to be on the outer lane when we get on to the next bit after the roundabout so I'm thinking we'll go right here so it's a bit busy, so I'm going to have to preempt my lineage here at the moment. Not as bad as it can get though, but you're better being early here than late. We've got a car coming, two cars, three cars, four, five. Okay, I think we can go. Be pretty careful with this roundabout. People always said fly around. It is a commuting roundabout. You know, so everybody's in a rush. No one wants to be stuck behind the truck, even if it means only for five seconds. So it's got to be a wee bit wary. Because sometimes there's queues all the way up, so that's what I'm sort of saying. It's best to preempt it than uh, dawdle with it. That's what I mean, we need to be in the outer lane here. I think that van driver tried to undertake us just then and fouled, fouled himself up. Yeah, so all's good. As I was going to chat about something else now, but I'll, I'll have I'll chat about it in another vlog. There's something to chat about. I was sort of umming and ahhing about when I was tipping if I should chat about something, but uh, I'll leave that for the moment if I remember to add it into the next vlog. But it's not critical either. It's just just something I would like to chat about, if you know what I mean. Uh, actually, yeah, we can stay in this one, I think. Uh, it may be inside the wrong lane, but we should be okay. Two lanes onto the M5 North, so we, sh we should be a okay. That. I think that's that drain. I think I went over that earlier. That made me jump earlier. That. <laughs> so, hey, what, what have I knocked? Yeah, so so some all that, and I, I don't want to tease you with that information either. Just with what I want to chat chatting about it deserves some time to chat about and I don't want to do it in the outro section for obvious reasons otherwise I'll be here all day and all night long <laughs> not really but you know you, you probably get the grasp it won't just lengthen out way too too long than it actually needs to be so we'll go on the M5 and we'll probably then I'll outro you and all that and uh, you know just to hit it off, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel. As I, well, I keep looking to the right all the time, don't I? As if I'm, you might not see me anyway. But uh, that's all the training. Look right, but now needs to look left now. <laughs> Put the in the eater one. Yeah, so I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel and to all those who support the channel as well. You know, in terms of commenting, advice, you know, enthusiasm for the channel, you know, I'll say a massive thank you, and so my main aim at the moment is to get back on, on the fairly regular routine as best as I can, so, you know, aim to my original promise of one a week, 
as best as I can. I, as I can't guarantee it'll be 100% all the time, but I'll try my best. As I'm holding my hand to the grill on this one. You know, because uh, it's nice to have a break as well, you know, in some ways. Just we we group. I'm trying, as I'm trying a few ideas and experimenting on this vlog a little bit on the intro. So tell me what you think about the intro, if, if you can, you know. I don't think how I'm going to do it on this is going to be the final, not the final, it's always going to be a, a newer version, but the final framework of how I'm going to do it. This one is obviously going to be the first one I release out, which is going to be probably the biggest trial of how I'm going to do it. So I've got an idea, I've tried out some ways of doing, I'm not going to explain because you probably would have seen it on the way in to watch, but. Uh, if you skipped over it, please go check check it out, you know. Tell me what you think. You know, do you like what I'm doing or do you prefer a bit like my original intro that just standard throughout all videos? You know. We'll see. I've got I said, quite a few ideas that I want to might try out. We'll see what I do with this video and in the future videos to see where we go with the in new intro format. So on that, I would like to say a massive thank you yet again to everybody who watches the channel, subscribes the channel, and supports the channel. You know, you, everybody who watches, even if you don't subscribe, we all very much appreciate it. You know, but please, if you're not subscribed, please consider about hitting that big red button saying S subscribe. It seriously does help the channel out immensely. And it would seriously be very much appreciated. Also, if you have any comments, anything like that, any queries, suggestions, within reason, of course, shoot down below. You know, if you want to see something, you know, want me to do something, comment down below. Please go check out my Facebook, my Instagram, and all the. As I'm, I might just leave it down to Instagram mainly, to be honest with me. But I'm going to keep my Facebook going in the background, just as it's another source. If I do grow a bit bigger, then, you know, they're not going to obviously put a bit more time into doing it. I think that's, as I said, one of the reasons I do neglect Facebook is just because of uh, the workload of managing all of it at this stage. But we'll see. But we're getting better at it, bit by bit. As I say, before I wumble on any further, let's uh, roll this out. I'll do what I've done in the last video, let you have a bit of a time lapse out of this. And uh, I will catch you in the next drop. Over and out. You look so beautiful, and I'm so lucky to be yours.
Seen the sky so blue.